Thank you, Madam Speaker. I, I, I listened with great interest to 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 my colleagues' uh, speech and some of the 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 liberal speeches before, and I find it interesting that this debate is around. Uh, w w let's have a lot of consultation with those who agree with us, and then bring forward this legislation that somehow deals with what is certainly a problem. But but my my question is quite a practical one uh, to to the member from, from from St. John's East, and that is if if he could assist in this uh, conversation to simply define what an assault style firearm is because certainly there's a lot of ambiguity around that the government has been unable or 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 has chosen not to define what that exactly is and it's led to a significant amount of confusion uh, about what what is actually even being discussed here when we talk about so-called assault style firearms the our member st john's east I want to thank the member for his question, and it's a, it's a good question if one is looking for a specific, exact, legally applied definition. But I think it's uh, there in the uh, in the list of, of of type of weapons that are actually been specifically banned. Uh, and I think it's something that if, the, if there needs to be an improvement in the specific definition, that that's something that could be handled at committee. And I would welcome any suggestions for making uh, opening up the areas of ambiguity so that we could look at them and uh, and perhaps uh, amend them to ensure that the, the definition is accurate. 